yeah welcome back everybody now we go straight to the next the next one is number two still from 1999 gc the angle between two forces of magnitudes 19 and 21 newtons is theta if the magnitude of the resultant is 37 newtons calculate correct to the nearest degree the value of theta okay uh, that's 2a now if i represent the vectors the forces by the sides of a parallelogram let's do that the angle between them is theta that means this is theta now i can complete the parallelogram this way this is 21 newtons if i complete the parallelogram this way this is yeah i can complete the parallelogram this way now what's going to happen that simply means if i extend this length this angle will also be theta because this angle and this angle are corresponding angles so they are going to be equal now if this is 19 newtons of course this will also be 19 newtons by the law by the parallelogram law of vectors we know that if two vectors are represented by the adjacent side of a parallelogram their resultant is the diagonal of the parallelogram drawn from the common point we can this is not the resultant oh sorry this is not the resultant because it is not drawn from the common point of the two forces this is the common point of the two forces so this is the resultant this is their resultant and that resultant is 37 newtons now if this is theta then this is 180 minus 180 minus theta so how do we find theta then i can say if we look at this triangle i can use the cosine rule to find the value of theta by saying 37 squared is equal to 21 squared plus 19 squared minus 2 times 21 times 19 cos 180 i'm actually finding a way to make sure that the whole of that is contained on a single line let me bring it down here then 37 squared is equal to 21 squared plus 19 squared minus 2 times 21 times 19 times cos 180 minus theta 180 minus theta how about square times cos 180 times cos 180 minus theta now so what does that mean i'm moving minus the whole i'm moving the whole of this to the left hand side when it goes to the left hand side it becomes 2 times 21 times 19 times cos 180 minus minus theta equals 21 squared plus 19 squared and I'm bringing 37 squared to the left to the right hand side and it becomes minus 37 squared so what does that mean what does that mean that means let's go uh, let me get my calculator now 2 times 21 times 19 is equal to 798 so I have 798 cos 180 minus theta equals 21 squared plus 19 squared minus 37 squared and that's minus 567 so if i divide both sides by 798 what am i going to have 798 that simply means cos 180 minus theta is equal to let's divide the answer by 798 and that's minus 0 0.7105 that's the answer to four decimal places and this simply means 180 minus theta is the cos inverse of minus 0 0.7105 which simply means 180 minus theta is equal to What's the cos inverse of the answer? 
the cos inverse of the answer is 135.27 they said to the nearest degree by the way 2778 2778 now that means minus theta or i can just simply say 180 minus 135.2778 equals when minus theta goes to the right hand side it becomes plus theta and that means uh what's that 180 180 minus 135.2778 equals 44.722 so that means theta equals 44.7222 and they said we should give our answer correct to the nearest degree which is 45 degrees to the nearest degree and that's the value of theta very very simply all right and that's it let's see can we take another one or just go okay let's take another one this one says uh let's see my page is not okay i think we can stop there and then come back for another one thank you very much and catch you in the next bye bye